My name's Doug. I'm a pastor from Oklahoma. I don't know. My sermons and illustrations, they're just not really connecting these days. So I tried everything. Books, prayer, books on prayer, fasting. Nothing's really working. We grew up in church. We've just seen over time pastors just kind of become outdated. We wanted to create a program to help pastors kind of become more relevant. Help extend their reach. Just, you know, build their platform a little. Throw a little juju on their beat. Doug, how you doing, sir? I'm okay. What can we do for you? Well, things have been kind of rough for me the past few months. Yeah, church not going well, huh? No, no, attendance is flat, tithing's low. I'm not really connecting with my congregation. Well, Doug, boot cut khakis, that's not helping anything. Did you guys do a mannequin challenge at your church? Running man challenge. Pokemon Go series. Crying Jordan jokes. Also, we knew you were coming in. We took a look at some of your sermon series. You had one recently called uh, The Parables of Jesus. Oh, I'm bored. <laughs> Already, we just optioned a sermon series called Screenshotted If Jesus Had a Snapchat. We did. It helped literally no one, but he got so many followers from it. You ever heard of Netflix and chill? Netflix and God's will. What about Walking Dead? The Walking Bread. <laughs> Boom. Uh, I don't know, Finding Dory. Finding Glory? You got it, <laughs> Doug. You're on it. So you just take mainstream titles and you make them Christian. Is that even legal? Hey, little phrase we like to say around here, trust the process. You know what's back now these days? A uh, little series, you might have heard of it, Gilmore Girls. Yeah, we already wrote a book called Fulfillmore Fulfill Girls. Girls. Yeah, what do you think about that? I, I don't understand why you would imitate a culture that we're supposed to be against. Let's hop on your social media. Let's, Let's take a look at that. There's a lot of things we can improve there. Doug, look, you posted an Instagram at a Kroger, okay? Oh, bad news, Doug. You don't shop at Kroger anymore, okay? Whole Foods and Trader Joe's is where you're gonna live. Outdoor farmer's markets photos do so well for your new brand. Doug, we gotta hook you up with a personal trainer. Are you a member of a gym? It's real simple, okay? What we start with is the non-denominational multivitamin. That's just gonna give you a little bit more pep in your step, a little bit more energy on Sunday mornings. If you wanna go a step up from there, we have the Grow Shell Gummy. What that's going to do for you is give a little more tone in the shoulders, make those sweaters fit a little tighter. Now, if you want to go all the way, Furtick food. I don't know, guys. I just want to preach. And you will, but first, hair and makeup. Doug, you're wearing a polo shirt tucked into your khakis. Are you speaking at a golf pro shop? Tiger Woods, you not? I'm going to untuck it for you. We're going to start yeah, we'll... there. Okay. First of all, the length of the shirt is a problem, okay? Here's what we're going to do. You see this line right here? That's a swag pastor state. We call it the straight and narrow. We did it. I, I just rededicated my life. You look amazing. <gasps> Let's head over to your church. We got work to do. We'll swag out that sanctuary, add a wood pallet background. We'll have you planting satellite campuses in no time. 